Thank you for tuning in to another Race Grooves unboxing video. Playmobil sent me this fire station set. They also sent me this ladder truck, which I reviewed in another video. You can get the link for that in the description. I wonder if the fire truck fits right there. On the back of the box, you can see we're going to get another couple characters or figures. This one looks like it's male and this one female. Nice to get a female one in the assortment. We have these items here. We have a control station. Hey, a desk chair. You can have a desk chair if you're going to work at the control station. Sound effects, just like the fire station. And look, we have these here as well. We also have on the bottom of the box, looks like we're going to get some more uh, fire hose for our fire station. This is set number 5361. The ladder truck was number 5362. Let's go ahead and pop open this box. You get to check out the contents at the same time as I do. It's kind of neat. You get to experience what it looks like in the box at the same time I do. There we go. We get to have some fun putting something together. It's kind of nice being able to put it, put it together rather than just getting something that comes out of a box and here you go. On the box you can see some details like this yellow striping. Well that's not on the set. We have a sticker sheet to put on. The, the fire truck was nice, the ladder truck. It had these already pre-printed and we only had to put on a small details such as the license plate and the bumper in the back. A little bit of details inside and we have some little details for inside. I'm going to skip that putting on the stickers for this video, but I do want to take a moment to take a look at the catalog. You know, Playmobil, they've been around since 1975, over 40 years. And just like Lego, they have lots of different themed sets and whatnot. Pirates and Western. It would be nice for me to review more city action sets like the fire one. Hopefully we can do that in the future. This one would be cool. Check out those vehicles. Maybe we can review those vehicles. They would make perfect sense for my Race Grooves YouTube channel. This is the one that I'm definitely hoping to get more of these sets for review. Yeah, look at all that cool stuff. Check out that police station. Yeah, I got my eye on that one too. Hey, there, there's a ladder truck. There it is right there. So hopefully I get more of these for the channel. I don't know about boats. Look like fun. But for me to review, we'll see. How about that one? You have any Playmobil stuff? Thank you for those people who commented on my other video that they love Playmobil. That's what's great, great about the YouTube channel, my Brace Grooves YouTube channel, is that I'm worldwide and I get to have viewers from all over the globe, including over there in Europe, which is the home for these German-made toys. Well, I shouldn't say German-made. The company is based in Germany. But as far as where they're made, you know, I didn't even check that out. I'm going to have to look. Uh, I'm not sure what country these are actually made in. I forgot to check that out for the uh, other review. Let's see. Oh, here I found it right here. Made in Germany. I mentioned this little Playmobil tool in the other review. It's kind of neat. It's like you get to build your own little toys. Pop this in and then this helps you connect some of your parts. See, you get to pop it in. There you go. Very nifty. It's those little studs that form the basis of putting together your sets. I'm not sure if they have an official name because the instructions themselves are, this will be connected to something else later. The instructions are just pictures, so I'm not sure if they those little things actually have names or not. But it's kind of neat. You get to put yourself together a little set. It's like uh, it's like you got to build your own firehouse or your own toys. Everything just snaps together. Let's get a few sides put together. Hey, got a nice window. Got some stickers. Get it lined up. Let's get it popped in. Got to have uh, nice fire station doors on a fire station. 
I did a review on a, another manufacturer's uh, fire station recently, and eh, it was not a very uh, glowing review. This one will be much better. Last I knew, when you work for the fire department, it's not an eight-hour job. You work there 24 hours. You're there all day, and then you sleep there all night. So look, we got little beds for the uh, fire, fire personnel. And then this will be here. And does it slide in or does it come over here? Let's see. If you look on the inside, there's a little dimple right there. So we're going to have our little post. See the little post? We're going to have it go right there. Snap it in. We missed. Let's try it again. We got one side. There's two sides. And look, then when you go to rest, you go here. Then when it's time to go to work, you go there. Got two beds, one for each of the employees. We're about to put the bottom and the top stories together. Let's pop that in. Line it up. You have your holes. Now the top floor. Have our posts. Line it up. I put together the tower for the hose, and I also put the hose together. You can see it right there. And as you can see, it goes all the way up and all the way down. You know what this is for? This is to drain the water out of the hose out of, after a fire. So this way, it's all cleared out. Now we can connect it with the main building. Here we have the fireman's hose to get from the uh, top story down to the bottom. I attach two connectors. One, two. Let's get it onto the building. Now you have your sound effects. It lasts about eight seconds. Here is the chair assembled. You also have a control station or a workstation. Control panel, I'm not sure what it is by name. Just have to insert the microphone. Here's your young lad for the uh, fire station. Here's the young lady. Let me go ahead and uh, give him the hat. He has a little fireman hat. Let's see, how does that pop on? Right there. Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. I know he stands up on his own. And then for her, let me give her this one so you can see how they look. There you go. There's your little Playmobil figures and workstation. On the box, it shows that this will go on the second floor. We'll go ahead and put the chair with the desk. Now you do get some accessories. Here you can see that he has a flashlight. He has a camera, he has a gas mask in case of fire, and you do get a gas mask, one for each of the figures. On the other figure, I have demonstrated the walkie-talkie. She's holding the walkie-talkie. And if you look, you have a little cubbies on the side where you can take your items and store them here on these shelves. You have a nice place to take care of your accessories. Here's the walkie-talkie. I'm sure you held, heard that I dropped one of them. It's in here somewhere. Here it is. You have the gas mask. Set it down. Now you've seen the bed, right? Let's go ahead and uh, we'll put them in for the night. Until you don't need the gas mask for it to go to sleep. Let's take that off. Now it's time to sleep until an emergency arises. While they are resting, let's take a look at the storage underneath. Look at some of the tools that you get. It looks like a rake, a shovel. You have a push broom, a megaphone, a large axe, 
and a small x. Uh oh. And then you also have a little video camera. I think that's a video camera. That's what it, I think it looks like. Hey, it looks like the fire engine fits very nicely. Let's go ahead and add them to the ladder truck. Open it up. She called shotgun. She'll go right there. He'll take the back. And we have room for one more figure. As you can see, the multi-level fire station from Playmobil will lead to many hours of imaginative play. And it makes a nice companion piece to the ladder truck. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.